Hi friends, hope you are doing fine. Today I am going to look at how to get a postdoctoral position in Australia. We have spent a lot of time looking at the Northern Hemisphere, at different countries in the Northern Hemisphere and now it's time to look at the countries which are south of the equator. So let's start with Australia. So now contrary to what many people think there are actually several good Australian universities which are ranked among some of the top universities in the world and they essentially grant PhDs they also have good postdoctoral programs and there are also some funding bodies or research bodies which also give out postdoctoral fellowship so now when I just take a look at postdoctoral jobs in Australia and let's say you search this in Google you will find many different universities so for example when I did this search I found the Australian National University Canberra so there they had postdoctoral positions in engineering mathematics law fusion then I found some jobs in University of Sydney in bioengineering math University of Melbourne in economics, UNSW system in psychology and so on. But uh, one of the interesting things here is that beside these universities which of course have positions every now and then there is a body known as the CSIRO and this has a plethora of positions out there. So I did some research on this particular body. So this is essentially the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research organization and uh, you will find that this particular body has several positions for example I found positions in marine biology food systems numerical modeling AI and so on you can go to the website csiro.au and look at this website now one of the goals of this body is to solve some of the most challenging problems in science and technology it has got a typical funding of 175 million Australian dollars more than 5,000 staff and so on so I saw that this body gives out a fellowship so that is known as the CSIRO early research career postdoctoral fellowship also known as the CERC postdoctoral fellowship and the aim of this fellowship is to develop next generation of leaders in innovation systems so certainly this is some body which you can keep an eye on if you go to their website you will find that there are a large number of topics which these people do including applied research as well as basic research they try to solve different societal problems using science and technology and there are a large number of foreign born scientists and engineers and other people who work here now beside the set of universities I discussed there are several more universities where postdoctoral positions were there at this time so I found Monash University Queensland University of Technology University of Queensland University of Technology Sydney the University of uh, Adelaide and so on now typically you would consider that there are two ways to apply to these positions you can look at the jobs which are out there in Google and then you can go to those universities you can go to each of the web pages find the procedure for applying and go and apply now what I found in those jobs typically they require you to have a PhD they would require you to have some publications and of course the field of research becomes very important because whatever field of research they are looking for they would like a person who has been trained in that discipline so if you are applying to a PhD position or a postdoc position in something like marine biology or psychology or AI for that matter you need to have a background in some of those disciplines but like I've mentioned many times before in the case of a postdoctoral position you can do a tangential change from your PhD discipline to the postdoctoral discipline it cannot be a huge change but it can be a minor change so for example if you were doing your PhD in 
cryptography or in machine learning you can certainly do your PhD in something like designing new chatbots such as chat GPT and so on so that's something you can always do now one of the things to remember is that you should target various Australian researchers while you are doing your PhD so very often when you are doing a literature survey and you are only using Google Scholar to do your literature survey you will find that the people who are ranked at the top of the literature survey typically these are the papers which have the maximum citations may be all concentrated in the US and some of them may be from UK and maybe Europe and Canada so what happens is that this is a typical bias which Google Scholar has built in because it ranks the papers by number of citation so what you need to do is to you need to find out the papers which have been published from Australia and this feature is there in Google Scholar because you can typically type the topic you are searching for example if you are searching for papers on deep learning you can type deep learning then you can type Australia and you can see who are the researchers here and make sure that you cite some of their papers when you publish your own papers you cite some papers when you are writing your thesis and so on because it's very important to make sure that different people around the world are getting coverage for the research they are doing and your research coverage is not very biased so if you write all your papers and your references all come from one part of the world then later when you apply for postdoctoral position somewhere else people are going to question as to why are you applying here when all your references are somewhere there now they're not going to exactly phrase this as a point but it's going to be there somewhere in the back of their mind so remember always that the subconscious mind and unconscious minds are much larger than the conscious mind for most people so some of the other factors which make people think about Australia is of course the weather if you compare the weather in Australia versus Canada you will find that weather in Australia is much better Canada is bitterly cold so people going from tropical countries have a hard time in a country like Canada the second thing is competition in Australia is relatively less so the possibility of getting a postdoc or even a PhD position is relatively higher in Australia compared to say it is in US or Canada where a plethora of people will be sending their resumes there so that's the second part Australia has a relatively low population density so that also means there is less competition for you there is less demand for scarce resources and so on they in fact may need people and there may be jobs for which there are vacancies and not many people are applying from within Australia proper so this is very nice for foreign PhD students who are trying to get postdoc the quality of life in several Australian cities has been ranked as one of the best in the world so I think Melbourne typically keeps getting that distinction and uh, you will of course see in various um, different YouTube channels that there are many cities in Australia such as Melbourne Sydney and so on which have excellent quality of life finally if you are from the Commonwealth countries Australians are very good in playing cricket so you can always have a good relationship with people in Australia if you are somebody who likes cricket you will get along very well with them you can go to the different stadiums and see the cricket matches see the World Cup and so on so that will certainly make your life a more pleasant experience finally I would say that what I've heard from people is that the work culture in Australia is relatively good they have a good work-life balance there so again if you get a position there you will have a decent work-life balance you will have a good life and hopefully you will have a good postdoctoral experience following which you can of course do many of the things which you can do as a postdoc like you can join some university position or you can join some research center or you can work in the private sector somewhere so that was my take on Australian postdoc and I hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned to my channel for videos such as this see you soon